Republikanerna i representanthuset inledde den 28 september den första utfrågningen i sin riksrättsutredning av president Joe Biden. Ordföranden för House Oversight Committee James Comer anser att bevisen mot presidenten ökar. Since assuming our Republican majority in January, the House Oversight and Accountability Committee has uncovered a mountain of evidence revealing how Joe Biden abused his public office for his family's financial gain. For years, President Biden has lied to the American people about his knowledge of and participation in his family's corrupt business schemes. Han sa att Biden upprepade gånger ljög om sin kännedom om sin familjs affärer utomlands. Joe Biden also lied to the American people about his family making money in China. He continued to lie about it even when the House Oversight Committee uncovered bank wires revealing how the Bidens received millions from Chinese companies with significant ties to Chinese intelligence and the Chinese Communist Party. Den påstådda affären är att Bidens son Hunter sålde sin fars inflytande till utländska affärsmän och regeringar i utbyte mot miljontals dollar i betalningar och att dessa betalningar delades med presidentens familj. Vittnet Jonathan Turley sa att presidentens son Hunter helt klart begick ett brott. Many people now accept that what Hunter Biden did was rather raw and open influence peddling. So the only question is uh, was the president involved in that? Frågan om Bidens inblandning i sin sons affärstransaktioner debatterades livligt. Ledamoten Jamie Raskin sa att republikanerna inte har ett enda bevis mot president Biden. The majority sits completely empty-handed with no evidence of any presidential wrongdoing, no smoking gun, no gun, no smoke. Törli sa att Biden sannolikt gjorde nytta. This idea that you can have millions going to a politician's family and that's not a benefit, um, I think is pretty fallacious. Kongressledamot Lisa McLean sa 2014 att dåvarande vicepresident Biden träffade den rumänske presidenten för att diskutera en korrupt affärsman. Senare började affärsmannens företag, Bladen Enterprises, betala pengar till Bidens familj. Between November 2015 and May 2017, Bladen Enterprises deposited over $3 million into Robinson Walker's LLC business account. But the, then the Biden family accounts received more than $1 million from Robinson Walker's accounts after these deposits were made. Ironically, 16 of those 17 payments occurred why Joe Biden was vice president. Another issue of contention was whether or not Republicans had the authority to hold the hearing in the first place. Democrats said the rules required them to have a full House vote. Speaker Kevin McCarthy initiated the inquiry two weeks ago. Today, I am directing our House committee to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. It's not clear whether or not the impeachment inquiry can continue without a House vote. One witness said former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi similarly began an impeachment inquiry of Trump, but that the House voted on it a few days later. 